Okay, so next we're going to create some reports for our database. Um, so if we uh, pop into the database, um, a report is um, an output and we can run a report for um, various things. Uh, a good example of that would be a list of um, all stock or uh, a list of stock sold by a certain person. A report can be created from a table directly, but it can also be um, created from a query. So it might be necessary to create a, qu to create a query um, that we can then base the report upon. I'm going to start by creating a report on the stock. So I'm going to open up the stock table and I'm going to go to create and report. And straight away that generates a report for me. So we can see the um, rugby kits, um, the category, the products, the size, the color, um, and all the information from the database table. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Okay, the other way we can do it is to create a report from a query. So let's say, for example, um, I want to create a report on somebody's sales, an employee's sales. So I've quickly added a couple of records to the database so we can see um, that Mark, the employee, has made two sales. So I'm going to create a query um, for his sales. So to create my query, I'll quickly go to um, the query wizard, making sure I've got the sales table open. Okay, simple query. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm in table sales. And I'll take all of the selected fields over. Click on next and next. And we'll call that query sales. And finish. Okay, there's already a query called sales. So I'll call that query employee sales and finish. Okay, so there's my query. Okay, looks very similar to the table at the moment. We'll go back to design view. Um, now let's say I want a list of um, the sales that Mark has made. So I'll go back to design view. Um, now if I put Mark here, okay, it won't work, I'll just show you quickly, uh, because that's the employee ID, Mark is his name. So if I run, okay, I get an error. So I'll remove that. What I'm going to need to do is add a new table, okay, with uh, employees. Okay, and we'll choose first name from the employees table. Okay, and now under criteria, I'll put equals mark. So as we think uh, back to the previous screencast where we're looking at different queries, uh, we've now created a multiple table query with criteria as well. So when I run this query, okay, I've now got marks. Um, sales okay so that's the query that I can base my uh, report on okay so I'll save that query I could incidentally also do a parameter query okay so if I do the square bracket okay and enter employee name close the bracket and run the query if I type mark Okay, I get the same results, but just for now, I'm going to put it back to the criteria equals mark. I'll run that one and just check it works. Good. Right, so now I've got my query. Okay, I'm going to go back to create a report. Okay, and now I've got the information from my query as part of the report. I'm going to have to change this design. Okay, the so I'm going to go to view and design view. Um, I can change the title of the report, so I don't want uh, QRY there. So I'll put uh, that as Mark's sales report. So you can start to customize the form now um, by changing the layout, changing the design. Um, you might want to temporarily move the footers down a little bit, like that for example. Um, you can right click, you can change the back color. Okay, you can change the font color, like that, and you can also change the effects and things like that as well okay the for the for the for the um, box 
boxes there. Now you've designed um, a logo for your business, so you might want to add um, their logo to the report. So you've got the controls here um, where you can do that. So for example, if you click on add picture, draw where you want the picture to appear, um, just choose obviously that any picture. Okay, and I've added the, um, the picture there to the top of my uh, report. They may also have noticed if we go back to report view, okay, um, that particularly on the other example, um, that this might not fit all on one page. So if your report's not going to fit on one page, back in design view, you can start to pick up the uh, labels and you can start to pick up the uh, data and move them around so they would fit all on that one page. So when it comes to saving your report, um, it's a good idea to use the abbreviation RPT, okay? And I'll call that one Marks Sales. So you can see um, the abbreviations I'm using. I've got RPT for report. Over here, I've used QRY for queries and TBL for the tables. It just makes it a little bit easier, um, particularly when we're looking at lists to work out what's a table, what's a query, and what's a report. So if I click on save, and that's my report for Mark Sales created. Now quickly, just want to show you the report wizard. If we go back to the query, or we could choose a table. Um, in my first example, I choose report. This I chose report. Uh, this time, I'm going to choose um, report wizard. Okay. Now this is the the wizard interface, uh, just like creating a query. So I'll just make sure I've got the correct um, data set. So if I drop down here, I'll make sure I've got employee sales, the query employee sales. Uh, I'll take all that data across. Choose next. But this time, um, I can choose how I want to view the data. Okay. Um, and there's a bit of a uh, help on, on how you can do that with some examples. Um, then click on next. Um, we can choose to group it like that. Okay, we can choose to put it in ascending order of uh, say quantity sold. Um, and if we choose next, we can choose different formats for the reports. Okay, different layouts. Okay. Um, now that, for example, could be used to create a report of um, employees with who sold the most stock. Uh, for your coursework, you only need to create two or three reports. Um, they don't um, have to be this advanced. Well, not all of them. Um, go for one report which has some form of grouping, um, and the other couple of reports you produce can be more simple, like in my example. Okay, so if I just quickly finish that and we'll call that reports employees. Okay, let's just see what that comes up with. There you are, so you can see now um, I've created report employees, got sales by month, um, we've got um, the uh, information there, but it's grouped. So as we add more employees, we could create a list of employee sales, employee sales. Um, this could be the same for holiday bookings, for example. Um, it could be a list of people who attend, so these uh, say dance classes, so that could be a list of people, uh, that could be the teacher. So we could have the teacher and the um, people who attend the dance classes underneath. It could be the holiday rep or the, the sales agent and the bookings they've made underneath. It could be, as in my example, the shop assistant and a list of um, sales uh, that have been uh, sold by that person there. Okay, so you can go ahead now and create yourself some reports.